Hello and welcome to your month of uncommon provisions and debt cancellation, says the Lord. Say it louder with me, dear friends. September 2017 is my month of uncommon provisions and debt cancellations. When you say it with faith, the Lord shall grant all that you ask of Him today in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will cancel your debts and the Lord will provide for all your needs according to His riches in glory. He has stored up all the good things just for you and for your family. When you come anticipating, when you wait expectantly, when you trust in the Lord God and Lord God alone, my God shall give you your financial breakthrough in the month of September 2017. Let's go to the promise verse which is found in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 2 to 4. The Lord's time for cancelling debts has been proclaimed. That's the second verse. I want you to say it louder with me. The Lord's time for cancelling my debts has been proclaimed proclaimed. When you believe and claim this verse as a promise for yourself, the Lord shall give you that uncommon provision. Receive it today in Jesus' mighty name. When you also understand that this is a promise for you to hold on for life, promotion shall come in Jesus' mighty name. When you read the fourth verse, it is very, very important because this is in the heart of God for Him to bless Bless the Israelites. He said very clearly, There should not be any poor among you in the land that I'm giving you to purchase as an inheritance, and the Lord will richly bless you. What a glorious promise for us as children of God to hold on to, claim it every day, confess it every day, to walk in obedience according to the word of God and walk in the prosperity plan that God has prepared for us long time ago. I want you to understand there are certain principles that God allows us to follow when we believe in the process. God shall give you his promise in Jesus mighty name my dear brothers and sisters I want you to understand uh, this scripture comes with a condition that is found in uh, the second verse the beginning of Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 2 every creditor shall cancel the loan that my God that anyone has made to his fellow Israelite. Do you hear what I just said? Did you just hear what I just read? This is very, very important. The Lord not only wants to cancel your debt, but the Lord will also enable you to cancel the debt of others in Jesus' mighty name. If there is a person in your life who owes you, God will provide the means for you to cancel him in Jesus' mighty name. He's dead. God will use you to cancel for His glory, which means the Lord is going to richly bless you and you're going to have savings and you're going to have supernatural provisions so that you can provide for someone's debt cancellation. Say louder, amen, and say this with me. Lord Jesus, make me a channel of blessing to someone today. Say it louder, my friends. Lord Jesus, make me a channel of blessing to someone today, which means the blessing the Lord's going to bless you with is going to bless someone for the glory of God. Say a louder amen, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord. I suggest you humbly to seek the face of God, not to seek the hand of God. When you seek the face of God, you receive mercy. The Lord will hear your cry. You have been desperate enough and you've been crying and you've been weeping and you've been tarrying. Lord, my Father, when are you going to come for my rescue? My debtors are knocking at 
my doorstep every single day. I've been receiving phone calls left, right and center and I'm not able to sleep peacefully at night. Lord my father, will you cancel my debt? My God is heard your prayer. He heard it very well and he sent me as a servant of God to prophesy over you today in the month of 2017. The Lord will supernaturally cancel your debts for his glory. The Lord will supernaturally provide for all your needs above and beyond than what you have imagined or asked God for because that is what I call the uncommon provision and supernatural provision and supernatural debt cancellation. When you believe it, my God shall bring it to pass. Say a louder amen. Let me get to the teaching part of this promise. I have put together a few points for your benefit and I want you to learn it today, apply it in real time and walk a debt-free life in this world for the glory of God. Number one, claim the promises of God for the promises of God shall bring your provision. Number two, claim the promises of God for that promise shall give you the promotion. When I read the book of Genesis chapter 13 verse 2, when God promised him that he will bless Abraham so much and God was faithful enough to bless him indeed. The Bible says very clearly in the book of Genesis chapter 13 verse 2, very clearly the Lord blessed Abraham, my God. In other translation says, Abraham was loaded. The Lord richly blessed him. Abraham had great wealth, which means when you obey God and when you honor God in all that you do, my God will make you rich. Believe it in Jesus' mighty name. When you read the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, the blessings of the Lord makes a person rich, which means when God chooses to bless you, you will automatically become rich, which means there shall be no poor people among you because God's blessing shall make a person rich in Jesus' mighty name. And he adds no sorrow to it. My God, what a glorious promise. This is the blessing of God. The time of the Lord's cancelling debt has been proclaimed. You got to claim your promise and I want you to believe it, anticipate it, expect it within these 30 days that my God shall cancel my debts for his glory. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14 very clearly says my God shall bless you above all people which means there will be no one who is equal to you. No one who is going to overpower you. I speak it in the spiritual sense that the Lord God would elevate you and he will make you the head not the tail. He will make you lend to nation borrow from none which means the Lord will bless you above all all the people and he will provide for all your needs. This is very, very important. When you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 2, the blessings of the Lord shall overtake you, which means the Lord shall cover you with his blessings. The blessings of the Lord shall go ahead of you and prepare the way for you. The Lord will add wealth to your system. I want you to believe it, my friend. God has a plan in place and God has a strategy to follow and God is our solution. The scripture has spoken very clearly in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 2. The Lord's time for cancelling your debt is now and there should be no poor among you in the land that I'm giving you to possess as an inheritance and I will richly bless you, says the Lord. My dear friends, I don't know what you're going through, but I'm here to prophesy over your life. From today, you shall borrow from none and you shall lend to nations. When you read Deuteronomy 15, 6 exactly says that. The Lord shall bless you so much and he will certainly bless you and you will borrow from none and you will lend to nations. Like I said, the Lord will bless you to be a blessing. And this is very true. The Lord is going to use you to cancel someone's debt 
today. When you sow into the kingdom, God will improve your blessings. When you sow into the kingdom, the Lord will increase your wealth. When you believe it and anticipate it in faith, the Lord will supernaturally cancel your debts and the Lord will provide you the uncommon provisions in the month of 2017 of September. Can I just close my eyes? I want you to I want you to close your eyes wherever you are. I want you to remember the debts that are in your mind. Thinking out loud, say it with me. This is the last day that I shall remember my debts. I shall remember my debts no longer because my Lord is about to cancel my debts. Let's close our eyes, bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to your holy throne of grace and we ask of you that the promise that you have prophesied over our lives long time ago. Father, we as your dear children, we take hold of that word and we claim it for our lives and for our children that the timing of the Lord for cancelling the debt is now. The time of the Lord for cancelling our debt has been proclaimed, which means we hear the proclaimed word of God and we claim Claim it to ourselves for the glory of God. Lord, as a servant of God, I prophesy over my brothers, my sister, my daughter, my son. I speak to you as a servant in the Lord. My God shall cancel your debts today in Jesus' mighty name. Get ready. Somebody's about to call you. Get ready. You will receive an email. Get ready. You will receive a text message saying that the Lord has told me to cancel your debts because God is working on your behalf and he will provide you and he will cancel your debts in Jesus mighty name I pray that credit card bills shall be paid in Jesus mighty name there will come a time that you no longer need to use credit cards because the Lord will provide you in plenty and he will take care of all that is concerning you and he will provide all your needs according to his riches in glory my God my God is God to cancel your debts. Uh, supernatural provisions are coming your way. And I want you to believe it. And I believe God is giving you new strategies for business. I believe God is giving you new networks. I believe God is giving you a new job. I believe God is giving you a new place of settlement. Uh, my God is going to provide you the car that you've been praying for. I pray as a servant of God. You've seen your children struggle in rain. Oh my father, provide them the car. Lord, you've been seeing the struggle that they have in their house. I even pray for a new furniture in the name of Jesus Christ. I even pray that God shall provide you the computer that you've been asking God for to work. I pray my God the Father shall provide it to you. Pastors, are you asking for a land for your church? I agree in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit that God shall initiate the process so that you will be able to take a land for the glory of God. My God shall provide you a house. You shall be able to purchase a house for the glory of God. This is part of the uncommon plan of God. My God shall surprise you this month. Receive your surprise today because he's about to supernaturally provide you. He's about to supernaturally cancel your debt. He's about to supernaturally provide you his provisions. Oh glory my friend. I pray today as a servant of God uh, that you shall not fear any man any longer. Don't worry about who's calling you. Don't worry about who's knocking at your door. Don't worry about what kind of email is going to come from the bank. I pray and I stop it today in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God will give you wisdom and God will help you to strategize. God will help you to be wise to save money. God will help you to be good steward of what God has blessed you so that you can be a blessing to someone today for the glory of God. The promise that I spoke over your life is not only for today. This will continue for your generations. I prophesy as a servant of God that your children shall no longer borrow. I pray that Lord will bless you so much. He will richly bless you, said the word of God in Deuteronomy 15 verse 4, which means he's going to add more blessings and you will lend to nations and you will borrow from none. I want you to understand the blessings of the Lord makes a person 
and rich. My God, Proverbs 10, 22. What a glorious promise. It is very important. Deuteronomy 7, verse 14. You are blessed high above than any other people in this world. What a glorious promise. Deuteronomy 28, verse 2 says, The blessings of the Lord shall overtake you. I speak that over your life in the month of September 2017. Let the blessing of the Lord overtake you. In the month of September 2017, my God shall lift up your heads for His glory. In the month of September 2017, let the blessing of the Lord make you rich for His glory. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers. I commit your children into thine hands, O Master God. You bless them abundantly. You provide for them. Multiply their finances. Teach them how to handle money. Teach them how to be a good steward. And teach them how to sow into the kingdom of God. The more you give, the more you receive. Understand the principles of God. When you cancel someone's debts, the Lord will automatically cancel your debt. Father, thank you for this time. We give you all the glory, honor, power, and praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. My dear brothers and sisters, September 2017 is your month of uncommon provisions and debt cancellations. Believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are blessed, I want you to quickly share this video on your WhatsApp groups, on your Facebook wall. Whatever medium that is available for you, share it so that many people can watch and be blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye now.